This is Mark Leong here, your Asia Skills Guru. Today, I want to talk about a very interesting topic, and that is the difference between music and blending. I have been receiving a lot of questions from you guys, right? Asking me, Mark, is music better or is blending better? Or in fact, are they the same? So, this is the episode that I want to disclose to you the differences between these two methods. I want to start by sharing the differences between music and blending. So what is juicing? Juicing is practically a method where you're extracting or removing the liquid from the fiber of your produce, be it your fruits, be it your vegetables. Okay? Blending on the other hand is a method where you mix both fiber and water into one. Coming to the second point, for you to produce a juice and produce a smoothie, it all comes down to two different equipments. And what are those equipments? In order for you to produce a juice, you need to have a juicer. Right? For the, for the blending part, unfortunately you can't use a juicer, you need to get yourself a blender. This is how a blender looks like. Of course, it has different sizes, different brands available in the market, but technically, these are the most important thing that you should be having in your kitchen. Right? It's like people even ask me, you know, are these comparable? Are these the same? No. It's like you can't compare a rice cooker with, uh, with an apple, right? These two are something that you really need in your day to day and it is very important to have it in your kitchen. Point number three. Benefits between juicing versus blending. This is the part that a lot of people have been asking to mark. Is there a difference? Should I just stick to drinking juices alone? Or should I just stick to drinking smoothies alone? Because I only have a blender. Now I want to share with you that these two have very, very different purposes. It serves different functions. It's like asking me, Mark, should I drive a form to drive or should I drive a, a sports car, right? So you can see that both of them are built for different purposes. So, for example, if you are going for gravity, body recovery, you want your body to heal faster, then you should consume juices. Yeah? Because it's in the form of liquid, it contains all your micronutrients, your microfiber, it absorbs into your cells faster, the digestion time is shorter. On the other hand, if you are looking to feel fuller, you want slow release of energy because you're keeping the gym or you're going for a workout, then you should consume smoothies. To the fourth point, the most important point of all, What are the ingredients that can go into your blender and what are the ingredients that can go into your juicer? What I have here on the left side, these are all ingredients that should go into your blender, not into your juicer because you don't technically receive any liquid coming out from these ingredients. What are those? Mangoes, avocados, uh, sweet potatoes, your banana in fact, right? These are all ingredients that are rich in fiber but not so much in terms of the water. So, Never use this for juicing. On my other side here, on my right side, I have a few trays of very, very attractive, lively ingredients, ranging from vegetables down to fruits. These are all stuff that you can, you can juice, right? So what are these? Your apples, your oranges, your carrots, your beetroot. Yeah? Um, and do take note that these are also ingredients that you can blend as well. Yeah? And Leafy greens especially, right? Your kale, your spinach, asparagus, celery, these are all meant to go into the juicing machine, not so much into the blending machine. Last thing, berries. Berries something that you don't want to put into your juicer. It is more suitable to go into your blender. I hope this gives you a very clear understanding of the difference between juicing versus blending. And again, if you were to ask me, you know, should I go more on one side, the answer is no. You should always incorporate both juicing and blending into your daily diet because both of these serve very different purposes. I'm using both of these methods every day. In fact, every morning I'm having a glass of juice. After my juice, I have a bowl of smoothie. So this is how I have my breakfast and this helps me to keep my body full until lunchtime and in fact I'm feeding my body with all the live nutrients, live enzymes, good oxygen into my body. Now, this is another very, very important part. If 
if you do not know what are the methods involved if you want to juice versus you want to blend. I just want to show you a quick example so that you are properly educated about this taste. I'm just going to take a very simple ingredient and that is red apple here. So, for example, if you are juicing something, right, the good thing is that you don't need to add in any other ingredients apart from the ingredients that you are juicing. So, I'm just going to juice my apple juice now. Voila! This is the apple juice. So there was an apple juice that was just juiced directly. I'm going to show you now the final step uh, which involves blending and so that you can understand the difference between blending and juicing when it comes to the texture. Um, one thing is that for those of you that have never blended or juiced in your life, it doesn't look that way. Well, where earlier when I was using at this my apple skin and then you go I get my beautiful cup of juice, right? For blending, you can't just dump in your ingredients and expect your smoothie to come up or your soup to come up. What needs to be added in are always liquid. So you either add water in or you can add your nut milk in or you can add your juices in, coconut water or etc. Always remember when it comes to blending, you've got to add liquid in. It's not as easy as just taking my apples and dumping in here then you're not going to get anything out of it as such part of the apples that are crushed. Right? So, I'm just going to show you an example now where I, I'm adding some water into my blender. Right? So once the liquid goes into the blender, that is where I put the fruits in. The fruits that I'm going to blend into my smoothie. your smoothie to be smoother, what you can do is basically blend it longer so it's up to the individual. I'm just going to show you the texture that we need to yeah, It's thicker and it has more fiber compared to your juice. Right? So these are purely juices or liquid extracted from the fiber and this on the other hand is the liquid mixed with fiber and additional water that you add in or other form of liquid that you add in. So this uh, basically how you juice or how you blend. I trust the five points sums up to the million dollar question in terms of the difference between juicing and blending. Once again, it goes down to the purpose that you're looking for. Never go on only one approach. It's important to have both juices and smoothies as part of your day-to-day -day diet because both of these methods serve very different purposes. And personally for me, every morning my perfect breakfast is having a glass of juice followed by a bowl of smoothie. It keeps me full until lunch time and at the same time I'm feeding my body first thing in the morning with all the life enzymes, life nutrients, good stuff that my body needs. It help me to recover faster as well as it helps my skin to age slower and age gracefully. This is Mark Long here once again, your age is just guru. I hope to make the world a better place by starting to make it a healthier place.